I'm going to try to provide uh, information for a gentleman who wants to come up with a fairly simple yet quite radical experiment for uh, his science fair project. Uh, this setup I've got here right now is more or less immaterial at this time because I'll do them in separate videos. But for his information, here's what I was communicating to him. A separate oscillator circuit here, which is composed of a red lead two coils. Here I have the sec exciter off of the L3 connected to a ring around a beaker of water. And sitting down into the water is the tip of the AV plug driving this 48 lead boards. And like I said, we'll get to that later. But here's, here's the first part of your project. You're going to have to determine exactly what the phenomena is that's going on here. And what we have is two 1N4148 diodes into an AV plug configuration with a white lead on the end. And I'm going to show you what uh, your project should consist of. Uh, we're going to take and move it up next to the battery that's powering the exciter. And we're going to take a look at that lead. And we, let me put some black paper down here so we can see for sure. We do not have any light coming from that lead. And you can see that on these diodes, the cathode is pointing to the right or towards the lead at this time. So what I'm going to do is take and switch this back over for you so that now the cathode is pointing to the left or away from the lead. And again, we're going to see we have no light. What you're seeing there is reflection coming back off of this plastic covering on the bench. Okay, so we've positioned the AV plug both this way and this way so that we have the cathode pointing right and then pointing left. And you can see they are parallel. The diodes are parallel with the uh, plates that are inside of the battery itself. So now here's what's interesting. Is if we turn it this way. So that they are perpendicular to the plates of the battery. We have the lead lighting up. And we have now the cathode on the left hand side pointing towards the lead. So let's see if that makes any difference if we take this and just switch it over like this. And really it makes no difference. We have the same amount of of light coming out of that LED as we do this way. Now there's a slight elevation difference but let me hold my hand down here and more or less shield it. We can see the reflection in the plastic. Let's go this way. You can see that the as far as visual perception goes, it's probably the same amount of light. So why is it when we do it this way, no matter how close we are, we end up with no light? Either polarity of the diodes makes no difference, and we're touching there, but yet we can move off away from the battery and just place the tip of the AV plug up against the battery and get light. So, in our communications further down the road, uh, this is basically what you're going to want to do is try to describe exactly what's taking place here that's allowing this phenomenon to occur. Now, it's, it uh, is explainable and we'll get into that so that you can definitely win the prize on that project.